what I want to show you how to do today, we have um, some some great 3D printers, but ours can only print in one color at a time. So if you wanted to design something that has, for example, two different colors, you have to think. Okay. So let's say I wanted to create, uh, I'm going to do something super simple here. I'm going to put down, uh, it's a two by two by two cube. I'm going to just stretch it so that in one direction it's five centimeters and I'm going to make it smaller. Uh, yeah, one direction. Okay, so there we go. So I've got a rectangle here. And it's amazing. not particularly huge. It's amazing. But here's what I want. I Let's say I want this part, this rectangular part of my object to be red. But let's say I want some letters to, be to pop out. To be, pink. to be pink, sure. Why not? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, letters. Where are they? Text. There we go. Um, and I'm just going to say, uh, oh, can I type if I bring this one in? Yeah. How do I do? And you could change the color. Ah, there we go. So let's say I wanted it to say Matt. Okay. Uh, and I want that in pink, obviously, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose pink. Now, remember, the colors that you set up here in Tinkercad don't transfer to the 3D printer. The 3D printer, you have to load the filament color that you want uh, in. The only reason I'm doing it this way, though, is to remind me what it is and what color it's going to be. So I've designed this like that. I'm going to 3D print this and I want it to stick to the top of my my object here. So I'm going to drag it over for a second and ask myself, is it going to fit perfectly on the top? No, no it's over overlapping a little bit. So I'm going to shrink it down. I'll grab the corner here. Let's make it so it fits uh, nicely okay. on top. Let's uh, whoop, I'll move that one. And now it fits, right? Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do is I want it to be really obvious where this will go when it 3D prints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it back over here for a second. I'm going to duplicate it. And to duplicate it, I think I can use this button. Yeah. So see that button there? I click my object and then I push the duplicate button. And then I think I can drag out a second copy. Yeah. I'm going to bring that over here for a sec. Now, right now, if I were to sort of scroll, I can see that that object goes all the way through that one. So I'm going to pull it up a bit with this arrow here. What I'm going to do is create an impression in the rectangle where I'd like my name to go. So I'm going to put it right there. Instead of being solid pink now, I'm going to turn this into a hole. Okay, sort of a negative space. I'm going to select the two things and group them. Where'd the group button go? Yeah, it's right there. It's the mountain. Oh, okay. They changed it. Okay, so now what I have is I have a 3D object here, and I have a 3D imprint there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, when I 3D print these two things, I'm going to 3D print them separately, and I'm going to print one in red and one in pink. And then I'm going to be able to take the pink one and, and use some glue inside. to stick it to that. Now, there are 3D printers that can you work with multiple um, filaments at the same time. We just don't have that kind. We have a, a pretty simple one here. It's one filament color at a time. We have two of them, which is great. But we need to uh, think about how, if we're going to use multiple colors, how we're going to design them. Now, when you create your logos that you're going to 3D print, I want you to think about how you could use not only two different colors, you can use one other thing. So you can use something called negative space. Does anyone have any idea what I might mean by negative space when I'm talking about like a logo design? We've got a couple people who think, yeah, Emily. Yeah, like a hole. Let me show you something here. Uh, I think, I think it's, yeah, here we go. The Hartford oh. Whalers, is that is that what that logo is? Yes. So this is a logo that a lot of people love. It's the Hartford Whalers. And it's it's a hockey team that doesn't exist anymore. I think there is a Whalers team somewhere now, but I don't remember where they are. But it used to be in a city called Hartford. And people like it because a, a few things. What letters do you see there? H. Okay, yeah, you see the Hartford. The, oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, there's the W. There's a whale's tail. And the... H is created by the negative space between the whale's tail and the W. Ooh, I 
there, there are a lot of people who just love this logo. People who are aren't even hockey fans who love the logo so much that they buy old Hartford Whalers stuff like t-shirts and hats and stuff because they just think it's such a cool idea of design and uh, and I think it's a cool design too so here's a, an example where they just like you said use negative space to create another letter and so when you're doing your design not only can you think about using two different colors but you can think about how could you create negative space by punching a hole through for example I'm just gonna do something kinda lame I'm just gonna throw a circle through it <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just to give you an idea here, like how could you cr use some negative space to create you could do like a, a third shape. color almost? You could call it a third color. So here, obviously, wow. uh, I was hungry and I took a bite out of my logo. Oh, maybe it's a food logo. A and food then, logo, and yeah. It's a, it's a type oh, it, of bakery. It, it could be eat. an apple, and then you could do that. Yeah, that's right. I guess Apple uses sort of that bite mark on their on their logo too. And then they just do that okay. little hexagon thing. And they so does that make sense? So does everyone understand if you're going to use multiple colors, you need to think about how the two colors will fit together? And I want you also to think about negative space in your design. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Awesome.